Good morning, family. In the wee hours of the morning of May 2nd, which is Saturday, I am taping at 12.19 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Atlanta, GA. What's up, fam? I'm sure y'all will get this video either this evening, this evening, this morning, this afternoon, or probably, probably once I release it uh, in the wee hours of the morning when I finish with it, okay? I took a nap early, so I'm going to be up taping. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. So I'll be giving y'all a few videos here and there for y'all to partake, partake of today sometime whenever you get to it, okay? Now, I definitely have been watching my YouTube and other fellow content creators that actually um, do commentary on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And child, they've been having this trailer up and i don't have the audio can't do the video all right but i gave y'all the visual pictures so y'all can kind of see where we're going with this all right but i i just had to play the clip before i uh got on camera to basically narrate my um video with you all child all that i can say is that eva she ain't coming with nothing but foolery fake foolery fucker and fraudulent shitty activity she's backing up backing up in her range robe or whatever she drive these days her jeep her cherokee jeep she backing up she ain't claiming nothing she pretty much saying she missing an action with her brain i don't know i read somebody uh, in the comments one time say she got pregnancy brain <laughs> I said, child, I don't know what she got going on, but it ain't the truth. I mean, I don't like women or men who start stuff to talk big, bad, you know, like they a big, bad wolf or something, or bear, and they think they bought their life, and then when you get right up in them folks' face, you can't say nothing, you can hear a pin drop, or even going back saying, I ain't say that, I ain't say it like that. But, you know, I'm like, girl, stand in your pile of shit, okay? That's what I need you to do for season 13. I need you to stand in your shit, okay? But anyway, Candy got a little froggy. She was trying to jump at Nene. And I'm like, damn, Candy, I thought we were respecting our elders, honey. I mean, would you call your mama a bitch? You want everybody to respect Mama Joy, so why are you calling Nene a bitch, girl? That was just so out of character. I'm like, girl, you were looking too cute. Too cute in your little makeup and your uh, shoulder off dress you had on. I don't know where that came from, but I guess y'all wanted to look classy for y'all last step out on the screen. But y'all could have had a t-shirt on and some jeans and would have been fine up there arguing virtually. You know what I'm saying? But all the ladies look nice. Even little twirl over there. Yes, Kenya. But I tell you, the stuff that come out of her mouth is just so vulgar. So vulgar. It messes up the whole look that she gives us. But, um, yeah, Ken, I was surprised you telling Nene all that. Calling her a bitch. I'm like... I don't think you call her bitch all season. And you're going to wait until you're behind a screen. I tell you about these keyboard gangsters. They love to talk crap. But when you sit up in that atmosphere, that same environment, that same playground, face to face, where you could just reach out and touch somebody's body. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing that. Or you crying. You know, I'm like, girl. But let's get on into this article. Because I was like, <laughs> these women don't got on my nerve. They can talk, jump behind them keyboards, behind them computer screens. But when stuff come out, they can't do nothing. Now, Marlo, she can. She can talk behind that screen and come out and tell you in person. So, I, I can get with Marlo all day long. I'm not saying she's the best attribute of a black woman you know what i'm saying she had her flaws she has a past don't we all but at least she could say what she's gonna say she could say it behind the doors and then she can come out and say it right in your face 
so I can give that kind of character. But we go on into showbiz cheat sheet. I chose them because I couldn't find the other ones that ran across my media feed. And it was pretty much saying the same thing the rest of them were uh, talking about as well. The uh, journalist was Armando Tentacle. And he titled his article, Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 12 Reunion Trailer. Nene Leakes storms off and fans react to preview. And I'm like, Nene, 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 Nene. I mean, you could be an OG. You could represent yourself however you want to. But like I said, OG, they don't go nowhere. They don't holler. They keep the same tone that they will be talking to their children when they're trying to give them uh, motherly advice. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 I don't know. I want to say we ice cold or we just too cool. We just can't raise our voices. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if I have to raise my voice, then I'm ready to put hands on you as well, okay? Because evidently you're not listening to me. You, uh, you keep running around the same, you know, scenario, same story. You're not getting down to how I want you to get down. So either, you know, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to let you rest and think about it. I'm like, and I'm just sitting bobbing my head like a little bobble. And I ain't got nothing to say. Because evidently, I'm speaking French to you when I'm thinking I'm speaking English. You know what I'm saying? But it just is yeah, what it is. But I was like, nee, 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 <laughs> nee, 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 nee. We don't go. We don't run. We don't close no computer laptop. We don't mute ourselves. We just don't do none of that. Okay. We don't do none of that. We let people speak. Once they finish, then we go on to say what we got to say. But then we want the same respect. Don't say shit when I'm talking, okay? And I might touch on some points you didn't get a chance to touch on. But since you didn't have that much smarts when you were uh, trying to give me what you wanted to say, hush your mouth until I finish. If I want to talk to you after I finish. You see what I'm saying? Because hopefully I'll be done bearing at you on what I had to say as a response back to you. Okay, verbally bury you. But anyway, we're going into the article. It says, Nene Leakes is at the center of the drama at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season 12 reunion. The tastiest peach will be on the defensive for some of her co-stars as the trailer for the upcoming episode leaked online. This year, the ladies didn't meet up face to face and it was all virtual, virtual due to the health crisis. That didn't deter the peaches from bringing it for the viewers pleasure and facts are rejoicing. Okay, and like I said, you know, you can give people that little extra play on, but could you not do that during the season while you were being taped? Why you got a belly up? Or how they say book if you know, you know what I'm saying? Why you got to do all that booking when you're behind the screen? That's all I'm saying. Keep it real 100%. But anyway, going back to the article, that's just my sidebar. A uh, preview of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 12 reunion dropped on social media and fans are freaking out. The teaser shows Nene's challenge uh, the girls to get into it. Kenya Moore yells more serious accusations while Portia Williams slams Eva Marcel for speaking on her child. Candy Burris is seen cursing at the camera and all comes to an abrupt stop when Nene Lee shut down her cam. <laughs> I said, that damn Nene, she ain't no OG. She want to play like she is, but she ain't no OG. Because, honey, I've just been sitting up there looking lovely, drinking my champagne, my orange juice, hell, whatever I had in my cup at the time, some coffee. And I was like, okay, it's time for me to respond because I want you to hush and I don't want you to say shit. Okay, don't say nothing. Or better yet, producers mute her mic if she tries to overtalk me because I've been very, you know, nice, been sitting in my chair, my throne. Watching her go at it here and there, to and fro. I mean, I've been talking to Candy. And then it would have been just done, you know. But it is what it is. Again, that's my sidebar. And it says, Bravo confirms that the reunion special will be three parts with the first one airing on Sunday, May 10th. So, we got another week uh, before we see that episode. And again, I don't know why they're doing three. They know they can put it in two. Hell, one long one would be nice for me. One for three hours. You know what I'm saying? Take it in small doses or whatnot. But uh, let me see if I can get this to play. The audio from the video that was being shown. Because I couldn't find the video.
child Candy told Nene she embedded in her MF brain. I'm like, girl, really? But you can say that when y'all were uh, in Greece or everywhere else y'all was by each other. You couldn't get that wolf, wolf, that buck. If you nook out you, then you had to wait. Okay, okay. And then you got Kenya telling Marlo. Basically, they was uh, Marlo and us. Uh, Nene was effing the same man. I was like, oh my goodness. It's just too vulgar. Can we stand it? Can we stand the rain, family? Can we stand the rain? But anyway, going back to the article. It says, Nene leaks the queen of legendary exes. A fan said, I honestly would have done the same thing. Fighting over nonsense when people are dying. Makes no sense to me. So well done, Nene leaks. Um... Another commenter said, I said I didn't need a Zoom reunion and would be okay with uh, out one for the season. If you're at it, I was wrong. Very wrong. Nene slamming her laptop shit is the most iconic thing she's done since coming back to the show. A Twitter user commented. Another commenter said, looking at that trailer, I'm so happy that for once Candy isn't crying while she's arguing. Another fan tweeted. I know because that, that crying Candy be doing. I'm like... Girl, either be about it or leave it alone, okay? Be about it or leave it alone. Going back to the article, it says reunion. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion always deliver. Another viewer said, I had no doubt that a virtual reunion would do the same. Uh, another commenter said, I feel like the dragon and the whole shade isn't going to be excited. Another, tw I guess they said exciting, I meant to say. Another Twitter user noted, people will be a lot braver than they are in person, but well done, and if we're pulling it together, I guess. Okay, and I'm like, girl, child. I mean, they got Portia, they got Eva, they got Candy, they got Marlo, they got Tanya, they got uh, Kenya, they got Nene, and they got Cynthia. I'm like, girl, where is you, Bonner? <laughs> <laughs> if they had Tanya up their hair, they should have had Shamia and Yvonne with a little placey place. Or maybe she coming along the second or the third taping of the reunion. Who knows, child? I'm like, child, that's a hot mess. Then they says, uh, why is the real house of atlanta's reunion virtual due to the coronavirus pandemic? It was decided that the reunion will be virtual this year. Uh, Andy confirmed the news on his Cyrus XM show that Burris leaked the news on social media or after Burris had leaked the uh, news on social media. We are going to be shooting the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion virtually, uh, Cohen said on Andy Cohen Live. This is obviously not how we prefer to do it, but life is not how we prefer it right now. Cohen further explained that the production didn't want to compromise the health of the ladies and it was best to do it remotely. We want to be in the same room, but we cannot risk the health and safety of the housewives or the incredible crew in Georgia, he added. Real Housewives of Atlanta is, is regarded by many as the Super Bowl of reunion shows and it is truly one of my favorite reunions to shoot. I look forward to it and the fact of the matter is it's either we do it this way or there's no Super Bowl this year. And I'm for I'm right with Andy. Who gives a shit if they're sitting in a ballroom or some kind of nice room they set aside and try to decorate it for the theme of the reunion? They could do this for me all the time. This shit can always be virtual. <laughs> Because that's what's really taking over now. People don't have to be in the same room with each other to get a show together or going. I think it's better. And with this coronavirus out here now, you don't know. You don't want people breathing on you. You don't want people coughing on you or speaking in their droplets of them uh, spit or saliva coming out their mouth. You don't want that. So, yes. Yes, clear heads prevail when they said they need to do this stuff virtual. Uh, but anyway, that was just my uh, pun or just my sidebar. Let me go back to the article. It says, many fans were initially outraged at the virtual reunion and had suggested Bravo wait until the restrictions were lifted. However, Cohen said it was best to get it over with um, now so they could start shooting season 13 as soon as they were able to. 
<coughs> excuse me, if we wait for this pandemic to be over for when we are all in the same room, it's going to delay everything, Cohen continued. We need, we need to move forward. We need to live in reality right now. And the reality is, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right now. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 12 reunion airs on Sunday, May 10th at 8 p.m. Okay, so be there or be square, how they used to say it in my uh, era of living <laughs> in my earlier days. So, um, hey, they could still do the tape of the, um, season 13 virtual, you know, because these women are going to give you what they want to give you. And like I said, this reality stuff is just so fake, fraudulent, fuckery, fool of uh, foolery, okay? Full of foolery. And half the time they say it's real it's not really real you know what i'm saying because if it was really the t we would see uh be seeing a lot more of mark we'll be seeing a lot more of uh todd acting up but they just want to show what they want to show and sometimes it's uh scripted or more so than not it's scripted and we just being able to give opinions and narration on what they give us. You know, we can't, we're not, uh, what do you call it? People that can sit in a crystal ball and say, oh, this person is like this in real life. They're really not doing it. We can't say that. We can only give our opinions on what we see on this TV screen. Okay. So that's where I'm going with it. And that's how I see it at this point. But those ladies were very beautiful. Every last one of them. Uh, I don't know where Nene was going with her antics of uh, trying to show out and shut the computer screen off. I'm like, girl, how you shut that computer down? Is that yours, girl, or that production? Is that your computer? Because we don't shut computers down like that. They cost too much, depending on what we got over there. I mean, do you got a MacBook? How them high than those HPs or Dells or whatever? But then you again, depend on what kind of HP or Dell you got, girl. You better stop slamming that shit down right there, okay? be right i'm around here unemployed girl then he just showed her ass okay <sighs> i wasn't too pleased with eva because you know she'll never stand in her shit um kenya gave us the same old same old you know same vulgarity uh out her mouth I'm, uh, hopefully she'll kind of slow it down as her child gets older and be able to connect those cuss words that's coming out her mouth because children learn quicker very much so quicker than what we learn as adults okay uh let me see cynthia i don't know i just i'm, I'm just torn you know because cynthia is growing on me for some reason i don't know why uh maybe it's how i see her interact with noel a lot i, I don't know i don't know so I guess that they can stay on the show. I just I need to just change my attitude on how I view her. Cynthia is only gonna give me what Cynthia gonna give me, and that's pretty much nothing. She's gonna always straddle the fence, and I just gotta love who who she is when it comes to that. Because <laughs> it don't seem like they ever plan on replacing her, because she's the one neutral piece in this Euro Housewives of Atlanta puzzle that we can say she could take with anybody and not really have any bad feelings one way or the other. So, <sighs> something has won me over, okay? I could see her in season 13. But that damn Eva, mm-mm. No, I don't care what y'all can say. She, mm -mm, she ain't giving me nothing. Brain phage or bad. That's all I keep thinking of. Phage or Shamari. We need to replace Eva as soon as possible. And I don't like to be, you know, saying that to take somebody's job. But, I mean, she's just really not giving us nothing. You saying you this way, then you go along. You saying you that way, and then you turn up to be another whole different tablet of a person. The last go around. I'm like, uh-uh. She ain't giving me nothing. She ain't giving me nothing. I'm like, and then Candy, you know, she could go too because... I mean, can not have her play? Be come back a friend of the family. Can then he can too. Come back as a friend of the family, or whatever. I don't know. I'm I'm just in my feelings right now. <laughs> I'm just feeling some kind of way. I thought I saw that reunion trailer. And I'm like, all these people trying to nook if you book. And you know, like I said, Cynthia played her role. She gonna not be in anything. She gonna worry about her Nene to Nene. And her get off this show. Uh, Nene expire out of this world. She go, I don't care. She going to be down for her Nene. She could talk shit about Nene. She could be mad with Nene. But, you know, unless Mike brainwash and say, I don't want you to be friends with Nene no more. Then she may do it because of her man told her uh, not to do it. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Portia, girl. 
Porsche get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And, you know, Porsche is very humble. I can get with Porsche all day, every day. You know, she just, I don't know, Porsche, I just like Porsche, you know. She's standing her shit. She saw her when she saw her. She like that sorry ass man, Dennis McKinley. And I'm going to probably have another baby by him. A girl, I don't know. I mean, at least I can say the man got some money he employed. That's all I can say. That's all I can say about Dennis. But Dennis is a womanizer and a partier. And, you know, he might pick Portia as a good woman to, you know, have his kids by. But he like, I don't want you unless we're going to sign a prenup, girl. Yeah, mm -mm. You pretty. You got it on. Your body's banging. You're a good woman. But I, I don't trust you. I don't work too hard. Me and my family and my biological family don't work too hard what we got. And when we got time to be giving it away over no silliness you put me out here and there and you know even though i need to be put out but damn yeah so that's all i had guys for this video it seemed like it's just gonna be a lot of nook if you book and i can't believe then they come out of their mouths you know how they getting all froggy and kenya probably say some shit too that she probably wouldn't say in front of nene you know what i'm saying Oh, it's just yeah, what it is. And Nene sitting up there acting all bad and bold, and she's sitting there slamming her computer down like she don't she don't want no more. She she don't have her feel of the whole uh first part of the reunion. I'm like, girl, girl, tie Nene down, all right, tie down in the chair. Don't let her go nowhere. Cause it, you know, either you're gonna be on the show or you're not gonna be on the show. It has gotten just that, you know, girl. Cause that you can't be replaced. Everybody's replaceable. Don't get so hot in the, under the collar thinking you can't be replacing any because you can, baby. And you're showing your ass again. You know, that's why people, you know, I try to ride with you. But, girl, you know, like I said, I, I took your player card with uh, being the OG last year. I, 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 mm -mm, I, I don't want to plan on giving it back because you just hot mess. And then the season, whole season 12, you cutting up the way you're doing, not showing the real true OG mentality stance, girl. I told you we don't run away for nothing. From nothing, nobody, no circumstances, no situation we can't overcome and conquer. Okay? And still smell like a rose. Girl. But anyway, like I said, that's all I had. Y'all get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought. Yes, tell me what you thought about this video. Anyone's to come, honey. Anyone's. Talk about subject matter. Don't talk about me. Woo. But anyway, let me see if I can sneak in some hellos and thank yous and for the ones that just want to go on and cut this video off because i'm not talking about the video anymore i'm just saying my thank yous to my family members yes okay let's see here we got juliet alfred hey girl how you doing glad you stopped by uh she posted um it's hard to get open when the biological mother is waiting in the wind for a come up off her child i feel todd's plight because it is nothing different than a grandmother giving her grandchild a good life and the son or the daughter wants to pull rank on the process taking a child back and all that the grandparents have provided for the child i feel todd uh, the shits happen. Let Todd lead the way because Kayla mom is still waiting on her break. Candace, stay back and take care of your three kids and focus on their outcome. Now, I can't say, Juliet, you did make me look at it from another perspective. Only Todd can know his past and the past women he's been dealing with. I ain't going to say because I don't know Kayla mom. She ain't trying to come out on camera. And I uh, applaud her for that, especially if she's not really ca camera friendly. Um... From what I'm understanding, Juliet, you're saying we may not know uh, about Todd's uh, females, especially Kayla's mom. We don't know if she won them thirst buckets. We don't know if she want to make a come up by getting into this reality TV segment type of stuff. So I could feel you on that. It's always some uh, the um, the boyfriend side, the girlfriend side, the father side, the mother side. And then, you know, the step-parents come in to play. But, you know, can they really say nothing about the girl or the lady, Kayla Mom? But she shouldn't because that's be, that would be definitely being disrespectful toward Kayla. You know, and, and um, Candy talking about her mother unflatteringly. So, I can understand it. But I do understand your point. Yeah, she might be a come-up queen, Kayla Mom. And, you know, hypothetically. And, um... Yeah, he probably just be trying to pre protect his assets as well as candy assets from her. So, okay. Then, then again, she might be trying to uh, t 
tell Todd secrets and Todd don't want her on the camera either trying to make him feel or look bad in the social media eyes because he already got shit to fight with with us when we be trying to dog him out about you know mama joyce and the family and stuff of that thing so but i thank you juliet for coming by and um sitting down and giving me that peace of mind that little piece of your advice okay then we have maddie witherspoon hey girl how you doing she writes i understand that todd means he don't want a spoiled child 23 it's not she's still young enough to need advice when you give a child everything that's not teaching them uh responsibility uh, I definitely understand and I concur with you on that, Miss Maddie Witherspoon. But sometimes I think parents that have a nice, lucrative uh, livelihood and they're not a always in their children's lives because they're out there caught up in the situation of making money, making money, make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Where they forget to sit and raise their children and other people in the family are raising their children and then they just get to come in and spoil them. So. Yes, it, that, that can be a uh, deadly thing as well. Then we got Marilyn Smith. Hey, Marilyn, girl. I got a sister-in-law named Marilyn. Okay, girl. <coughs> fam, fam, fam. She says, Deb, I feel as a mother, stepmom, whatever most of us would want to do, the same for our children involved in a family. One is no better than the other one when you are family. Uh, and as parents, we should rule as mates together. Now, I totally concur with you, Marilyn Smith. It, it should be one head leaves it all uh but everybody got to be one-minded on the uh the same plane of existence of wanting the best for that child so i'm sure it has to be many conferences many talk throughs <laughs> but i i just really strongly feel if you getting all the cookies and the uh punch give your daughter some cookies and punch too you know what i'm saying um Doors have to be open. Doors were open for Todd. So, uh, can is a door that Kayla can definitely freely walk through and reap her rewards. That's all I'm saying. Um, yes, okay. And then she agrees with me, Marilyn Smith, uh, that if we let them Scott sisters come in, if they wanted some new blood to come over to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, just right, hire one of them Scott sisters. And I'm sure they'll show them set a uh, fire on the candy's ass because they'll be dropping tea we didn't even know about. And then Candy be going trying to put it out and this, that, and the third or find her own tea on the Scott sisters. Ooh, that would be so Oh, that would be scandalous of a show to watch. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by, Marilyn Smith. Then we got uh, Cassie H. Thank you for coming by, stopping by. She wrote in comment section, If Candy's freaky ass had not been lusting at the Porsche's ass, and everyone knows she's a freak, this would not have been believed. Something had to have been said by her or Todd, if even in a joking way about Portia, even Portia herself said something to Candy during an argument about things Candy told her she would do to her sexually one of the times they were hanging out. So I believe it was said, but maybe not a real intention. I can see during one of the times these two were lusting over Portia, one of them said something about what they wanted to do to Portia. And I'm right, yeah, Candy is a freak girl. You got it all set up in, you know, believable, makeable turns to the storyline. Yes, Todd and uh, Candy, I do believe, wanted to get, you know, get it in with Portia at least a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? See what she was working with. But that's just pretty nasty. You know what I'm saying? The way I'm going to be, you know, filming with you on a real, you know, a reality show. And then I'm getting down in the bed with you and your man. Oh, no. Ooh, that's too, that's too, too freaky. Okay. Then we got Alda Luz, uh, Alda Lutz, Mario, Moreno. Please forgive me, baby, if I'm tearing up your name. She says, good morning. Todd needs to stop. What I do believe and hope Candy does is set up everything for Riley. However, her biological father is the one that should be involved in Riley's financial advisor. As Riley's financial advisor, uh, we can't forget who her father is. And that's so de uh, definitely true. But Candy ain't finna leave no money for Block to get a hold of. <laughs> Chaply. Oh, he'll be trying to get his cut up in them. So, now nah, that would be a battle. Ooh, that would be a battle, battle, battle. And that would be a good story, too. But then to bring out on him. I mean, I would love to see more of Block. And why is are we not showing more of Block with Riley getting older? She's doing a lot more things. Is the brother not still not in her life? That's what they need to be uh, showing us. Why has Block not been in her life? And what she feels about that. I would love to see that play out. Um... 
We got one from Jerry Henderson. She says, Brain Phaedra back. Watch it. Candy care. She's getting her own show. Oh, wait, it might flop. So Candy has to stay on the housewives. Let Kenya go on her show being that they are buzz. I like to see Candy, Kenya, and Cynthia gone. All right, honey. That's a match. But like I said, Cynthia has kind of grown on me a little bit. You know, she's the neutral piece that everybody seems like they can film with. And, you know, just long as she just keep her mouth closed about Nene. Because she's going to always be around Nene. She's going to want Nene in her life. To see what it is. They're like, Nene need to keep her mouth closed about Cynthia. Okay. Uh, but yes, honey, can it, yeah, I don't know, cause, no, cause the specials and the spinoffs she's had, they've been more so get around her family members who can give drama all day, every day, but it might not be the one piece of drama candy won't out there for longevity. So it just is what it is. Lady G says, y'all crazy, something happened to candy Todd. It's left in charge. Nobody gets shit to her to her ghost on everybody. I'm like, ooh, child, we'll be looking looking for him like the Amber Alert they have to put out. Girl, we'll be looking for him high, low. And Mama Joyce will be searching valley to valley, mountain to mountain. Ooh, that would be a mess, honey. She'll get up there and do a PSA, a public service announcement. Tell me we have to get taught ass. He is on the run. Yeah, honey, she'll be having an APB out on him and everything. Woo, honey, and those uh, <laughs> producers need to be having tape and rolling for all that good footage, okay? Uh, then we got uh, Say Grace. She said Todd might be concerned Kayla is a party drug user or may become one with instant will. Block and Kevin gave their parental rights up at conception, and neither of those uh, selfish to uh in the best interest of their daughters. Okay, now, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I guess Kevin did because well, Kevin got some mental uh, problems going on. If he can just get that on a, on an even keel, I think he could potentially be a good father to, uh, what's her name, uh, Marley. And uh, I don't know where Block coming from because he, he shouldn't have stepped out on his wife from the beginning. And that would be a good story if we could get Block's wife up in there. Uh, as a friend of the show. <laughs> so she could say, put some salt on Candy name about how Candy came in and messed up her marriage, okay? Getting a daughter when she when Block already had children. Oh my goodness. That, yeah, that would be something. Then we got my baby girl, Marisol, down here. Candy Todd is going to turn Ace into a sweet boy. Girl, what you talking about? You think they're going to turn him into gayness? Girl, is that a learned behavior? Is what you trying to say, Marisol? You too funny. Then we got Lonnie, one little Riley dad is cute. Yes, he is. When they when they polished him up, he looked at good. That girl, a nice chocolate drop of eye candy. Yes, he did. He did clean up well. And uh, let me see. And one last person, uh, Pat Mitchell. I truly believe if Nene steps away, Candy Kenya and the rest that's trying to get rid of her, meaning Nene, then we will see how the story goes. Remember that click group. Kenya being a leader, Candy, who's her ass kisser, and Cynthia, who is so pathetic, is riding on Kenya's coattail, and let's not leave out old crazy Eva. She'll do anything to stay on the show. Uh, so she was Cynthia following behind Kenya ass, and Kenya trying to hang on to Nene because that's her storyline. Also, Kenya's not going to use her marital problems on the show. Trust me, she hasn't done it so far. And, least not for, and let's not forget, Candy. listen, it's time for you to stop trying to keep your mother on that show. Her place is with her sisters, or better yet, working in your restaurant. Candy, that's all you do is use your mother for your storyline, and you are so bland. And I believe Todd is not attracted to you. Trust and believe Todd is just hanging on until he builds up his repertoire. People, let's be realistic here. Candy has nothing, nothing going on about her. Kenya is just using her to get ahead. It will all play out when Nene leaves them. And only then uh, we will see who's been carrying that show. I wonder will she turn against I wonder who she would turn against then. And I'm like, girl, you said a mouthful. And I do concur with you. Kenya using all those little women, all them little women for her just do. Because she won't need any gone. So she thought she could be the head honcho. <coughs> but I, like I said before, 
all of them bring their own little elements that uh invite us to want to sit and partake of their shit okay nene has hers candy has hers kenya has hers uh portia has hers it's just you know a, a really good melting pot of different personalities put together to make a show you know because even we got uh cynthia there you know she gives us nothing every season every episode but you know like i said she just that glue that keeps it together you know where she could take with all of she don't really like nene but she could take with nene she don't too much care for i guess eva you know but she can take with eva can the same way i mean it's nowhere for cynthia to go pretty much but to be neutral and make her check she ain't got to work that hard she ain't got to work that hard at all so to me cynthia seemed like she's the smartest one she'd be the last one getting involved in shit starting shit even though she tried to be a little messy season 11 and summer 12 but she don't really get hyped up like the rest of the women you know, all the rest of the women get real hyped up. And Cynthia be like, shit, just let me get my check. <laughs> so I'm beginning to think Cynthia is the real HBIC. I'm looking at Cynthia from another whole perspective. She like, I ain't finna waste my time. Get my blood pressure up for these women. Hell, I'm in my 50s. And I'm trying to live to my 60s and 70s. Okay, because you see I'm trying to chase after this man. And I don't want him taking my money like I let Peter slip off and took some money. So, I'm just going to sit here and look good. But I don't think I can say about Cynthia. Cynthia, show, be a little bit more conservative when it comes to your attire. I don't even want I, I really don't want to see your boobs hanging out like that. Damn. You know, what happened? I mean, you on a, you in the industry. And I know they're going to tell y'all we want y'all to look this way. We want y'all to show a little bit of this. Show, show a little bit of that. And if you still like that dollar from um, the satanic army, then I guess you go ahead and do you, girl. You go ahead and do you. But I'm just saying, shit, cover it up. Let's leave something to the imagination. That's all I got to say for these women that are in their 40s and 50s, you know. You ain't got to show it all. You don't have to show it all. Leave something to the imagination. But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. And if y'all seen the actual footage of <laughs> the uh, somewhat uh, virtual reunion they're showing us. I mean, I played the audio for you all. So y'all should got a good breast of what was going on. Because like I said, whoo child, when you can get behind a uh, keyboard, you can get behind a computer. And, you know, express yourself, but you can't do it when you're with the folks. That's just fake, foolery, fuckery, and pretty, pretty much fraudulent activity. And I can't F with you, okay? That's all I'm saying. I can't be one way or be no way, okay? Don't need all these alter egos going out here showing me all these different personalities. Show me who you are. Show me what I'm working with. Nook if you book. Okay, that's all I got to say. I will see y'all next video. But don't forget to subscribe, share, and like our videos. Okay, because it's a family affair. I say what I have to say. I narrate it through the video. And then y'all get down in the comments afterwards and tell me what y'all felt about subject matter. Okay, but y'all be blessed and I'll see y'all next video.